Welcome to another video on my ESP32 and if you uh, are interested in all things embedded systems and um, making models with Physitechnik then please do subscribe by clicking on this little thumbnail. Anyway, last time I made a start by um, transferring the electronics and the ESP from these uh, sets of uh, breadboards to this um, breadboard, new one. Here the lanes are all connected, so now um, the ESP is right in the middle, which makes a better wiring system. And I will continue with that, including um, testing the existing software which is loaded in RAM, random access memory, and continuing with uh, the sensing main display, buzzer, and maybe the motors. And if I don't get to it in this video, I will in the next. Anyway, um, because of the software, I will continue with screencast. All right. Um, other than you can see, uh, than I said, uh, the motors have already been transferred because they're on the new breadboard, which leaves the buzzer. And regarding the buzzer, I have to go to the schematics, and it says clearly 23. So taking it out of here and 23 is if I see correctly one bird last so I have to put it either here oops so I have to put it either here or here and anyway I need a wire for here So let's for now put it like here and wherever this one goes doesn't really matter. Um, it must be in uh, the ground with one pin plus and minus. So let me just put it here for now. Which means, by the way, that if I take it right here, that I have to put a pin here in the right lane. So, grabbing this one. Let me put it right here. which makes it going here and this wire going right on this if that wants to work out anyway so bus are complete and since that takes a bit I will do um, this one off camera because that will take some time. But before that, I of course have to test if it actually does work out. So I am going to run the program and it will make quite a bit of noise, which I also hope for. In the meantime, reconnecting the motor, which it doesn't do. I really have to find a different solution for this. Well, the LED works. 
the motor obviously does not um, LDR should be working which it does apparently But I didn't hear a buzzer. Uh, yeah, buzzer should have been there. So, this is port 23. It should have worked. So, um, buzzer end. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oops. Um, anyway, apart from that, let's go here. So, the display has been transferred, the resistors have been transferred, and the ground wiring is finished. So now these wires come, and I have to use these schematics to see which one is which. And the first one right here is going to whichever pin it was here. Um, and here is here. So if I take this wire, then it will go to most likely this one. So let's see if that will be correct. Um, it will be segment C from 15. So let me take this one, which would go to 26, but I doubt that, because here, oh, now that, that is certainly possible, because of course here it is divided, they're not connected. So this one is the first, going to 26, and I hope everything will be logic. So you would think it is very easy to <coughs> put things from one breadboard over to another. Um, first the sound segment display, then the LEDs, next uh, the wiring, and then you find out that some wires don't exactly match here where they match here. Going to schematics, seems quite easy. One LED on five, then two wires here, 18 and 19, and a few wires here and here. Going back, one LED here, then uh, it turns out that one wire on this side is missing. Um, and then some loose wires. So, oh wait, here is a wire missing. Um, it's entirely loose here. It's still fixed here on 11. No, 9. So, I'm taking it and I'm putting it into 9. But where does it go? That's a nice question. Um, apart from that, I've taken all the uh, wires here, but it, uh, it still needs a gapping wire like this, which I take from here, and then testing. And when I do a get uh, a wrong uh, digit here, I know the wires have to be checked. Oops. But, um, when does something go correct the first time?
Vamos. And with all wiring complete, uh, I found out that it was quite simple actually, because as said before, um, A, B, C, D, E and F, E, F and G uh, on this board. But I also, of course, have this um, function, which exactly uh, with commands uh, in Dutch, uh, boven, rechts, boven, rechts, onder, onder, links, onder, links, boven, midden, which in English is uh, up um, or top, and then top right, um, under right, or right under, or uh, anyway, literally translated, right uh, up, right under, under, left under, left up, and middle. And if you then take a look at the display, you can see that everything uh, on the display is working. So that is solved. And this wire should be replaced. It's too thin, but it works for now. What still doesn't work is this one, uh, which should work, but let's dive into that for a little bit. And because there uh, is a, um, a buzzer activated, or is it? No, it is entirely commented out. So that's the whole point. Let me comment it in. Re upload and then there will be a nasty sound if everything goes right. LCD text should be out because there is no longer an LCD involved. Motor still doesn't do anything. And okay, here's a problem now. So the buzzer should have been do doing something, but clearly it doesn't. Okay, anyway, um, that has to be for next time. So, um, with the buzzer uh, for next time, LCD works. Uh, well, not the LCD, the uh, seven segment display. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And um, doing that, please um, click the little uh, thumbnail here. You can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Please um, leave a suggestion or comment uh, under this video. Much appreciated. Ask any questions. Um, you can... Uh, also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Um, if you like to donate, please um, do so via um, PayPal or IBAN, and you don't need a PayPal account for that. And uh, you can also become a patron and uh, have your name mentioned. In any way, please for check my uh, Patreon page. More information on my other projects also on my website, which is listed under this video. Um, this is going to be continued. Have a great day, stay safe, bye.